Hello YouTube, in today's video, we're going to be covering everything you need to know about energy bars in Super People. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. If you're new to Super People and you need a little bit more clarification on what these bars do, fear not, we're going to cover it all right here in this video. This game can be a little overwhelming at first, what with the crafting, the looting, surviving ice storms, not to mention you have like 50 other players trying to kill you. These bars can be easily overlooked, especially if you're new to this game. I know for my first week or two that I played Super People, I almost never picked up an energy bar. It wasn't until learning later that I figured out how important they can be. So I'm going to try to save you guys the pain that I went through and break everything down in this video. To start, there are three main bars in Super People. Power, Defense, and Speed Bars. These bars can be found randomly throughout the map and supply drops. Starting off, we have the Power Bar. This will grant you 15% damage bonus. This is perfect to eat before entering any firefights, giving you a significant upper hand in terms of damage potential. Next, we have the Defense Bar. This will mitigate 10% of damage received, which is super awesome on its own, but what makes this bar really, really cool is that the fact that it restores plus three durability to your helmet and vest for every three seconds you don't take damage for 10 seconds. Basically, what this means is that at the very bottom of your screen, you'll see the durability of your armor. While taking damage, your durability will start to wear. When totally depleted, your armor is basically useless. But by eating a defense bar, you can actually restore your armor health, which will get you back into the fight. And lastly, we have the speed bar, giving you a 15% movement speed buff. This can be really great while running from the storm or to close or gain distance from anyone you're fighting. Now each bar you eat gives you a duration time of 90 seconds, but what's really cool is that you can stack the duration time by eating the same type of energy bar consecutively with giving you a maximum of 270 seconds, or if you're bad at math like me and you ask your Alexa, it comes out to four and a half minutes. Full disclosure, you can only have one type of bonus active at one time, so you can't take a power bar and chase it with a speed bar, they'll just cancel out. I fell into that trap when I first played and I was eating all different types of bars at the same time, thinking they stacked. It was a hot mess. I'm going to save you in the embarrassment and just tell you straight up, you can't mix and match. So now that you know what the bars do and for how long they do that for, it's time to talk about when and where to use them. For the power bar, it's generally a good idea to go ahead and pop them right before you know you're going to get into a firefight. Not only will you have a good chance of catching your opponent off guard, but it will also increase your chances of providing maximum damage output. Every bar takes four seconds to cast and can be eaten while moving, so you don't have to stop in the middle of the open and have a picnic or anything, you can munch and go. Next is the defense bar. I usually eat these before a firefight as well if I find myself lacking a power bar. The defense boost can be equally important when fighting a bad guy and can save you a trip back to the lobby. I also like to eat these right after I've killed somebody. In the very likely chance that my armor has taken some damage, I like to have the regeneration effect active while looting the body bag so that I'm battle ready for the next engagement. Lastly, the speed bar. This is probably the bar I eat the most. I like to play outside of the circle and have the movement speed bonus active, which helps me rotate quickly to avoid damage from the storm. It also gives me the luxury of outmaneuvering my opponents so that I can run ahead and put myself in a position where they have to rotate into me. Now, these are also super cool for when you want to close or gain distance from your opponent. Depending on the situation, it can be an awesome thing for pushing or a tactical retreat. There are so many different ways you can play while using these energy bars. Because no two matches are the same, you have an endless possibility on how you want to play. But what's most important is that you have an energy bar in your tummy and a can-do attitude. All right, well, that's everything you need to know about power bars. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or you would like any kind of video made, let me know in the comment section down below. Also, if you want to catch me live, I've started streaming on YouTube, so you guys can come into the comments and check me out and, and say hi. Other than that, I hope you all have a great day and stay super.